going to game hunt at the swap meet. Wait, wait, no, no, no! All right, Rick, why are we here? What are we getting from you? He's selling me stuff for $4. Oh, Curtis just drove how many hours? 23 and a half. 23 and a half all hours. We need all for this, right? Look at the sign. All for a grand opening weekend. By the time this video goes out, it will have passed. Yeah. They can let us know, but we have some goodies in here that we'll show you guys in a minute that we're gonna put in this beautiful game store. Wait a sec, what? Special guest, Pixel Game Squad? That's what I like to, I love that though, actually. Hey, yeah, man. That's super cool, man. Oh, uh, you forgot Pixel Plus. Oh <laughs> my. What is this? What? Tell us what this is, Rick. What'd you buy? It's like a Genesis holder. Is it Toys R Us? It can't be Toys. I, can't I don't know where it came from. So basically, you put the uh, cart in there, and then it would swivel. It doesn't swivel because you get to make this. But right now, look at this. But what's cool is it's Genesis and Game Gear. Look on the side. Look at that. Oh, finally. Double branding, baby. This almost makes me want to do this with all games. Like just an accordion of all your games. Like, like a, like a poster. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Oh, baby, all the way from California, yay. We got Sonic in the house, baby. That's looking pretty beautiful. So welcome, and truly, we are in Arkansas for Retro Rick's big grand opening, his game store re-grand opening. We came here when he first opened it, but now it's time for the re-grand opening. Let's go see the rest of the stuff that Ricky bought. I had to welcome you into the show. Come on in, sir. Bring in your... <laughs> uh, uh, all right, one item down in the world of... Look at this store, by the way, y'all. So Rick definitely one up this thing a ton. Rick, your store looks absolutely... Sonic, and, and Jeffrey, Simpsons, Simpsons Ronald, Ronald, Ronald. <laughs> everything. The store looks so much better, dude. It was already amazing, but this looks, as they say, this is this is stupid hard. Oh, I would help you boys, but you know, I gotta get that good footage. Okay, okay. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, boys. Whoa, oh wow, he just went right up there. That looks amazing. Oh my God, dude. Okay, I gotta get another shot of this. All right, Rick, what's the next item? What's the next the item on the list? Weirdest, derpiest tails ever. He looks frightened. Oh, look at him. <laughs> what do you think, what, what do you think, <laughs> caption this in the comments, what did Tails just see? What did Tails just see? All right, but I think we're about to put Tails on top of a Nintendo Play Choice 10. Okay. That's all right, that's all right. That looks. That's all right. Oh, you tilted it like this. Oh, okay, I was like, wait, how's he coming out? Yeah. Tell Tim. I'm holding his tail, so. Tail, oh. He's so careful with his tail. Watch oh, that tail. tail already. No, it's not breaking, it's not breaking. Here goes the attempt, the attempt, the attempt. Careful how we slide him. Actually, no, twist him the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist it to the way. Yeah, push it back just a little Oh, he looks great. Perfect. You guys can find a spot, Rick. Find the spot for him. Twisty, twisty, twisty tail. Oh, oh, almost, yes, no, Rick. Aw, oh, his tip of his toes are hanging off. Tails. Tails has been moved over here. He was looking a little funky on top of the play choice. So Rick, just so you know, this one that you're buying was from me and Ricky's childhood Toys R Us. So that has a special place for nothing. Awesome. <laughs> it lights up, it does work. The cord's nice and long. It is four feet long though. So that's gonna be kind of hard to put somewhere, but uh, it's your problem now. Toys R Us customer pickup. You should just put it in the Every back. toy store needs. Toy store? Oh well, yeah, toy store. Uh, yeah. Game store needs. Yep. Is it double sided or just one sided? One sided. Okay. We actually know Half the price. guy we actually know the guy that has the other side. Half price. Curtis, yes. as a first time walker inner of the Retro yeah. Rick game point, what's your honest thoughts? Dude, it's insane. I'm telling you right now, you walk in and it's just like What's your favorite part or thing well, about it? First of all, the statues. Yeah. You love the statues. And he's up the game and since he originally got you statues. You look at all the detail he puts in the lighting, and then it's just like, I don't know if you uh, see that sign back there, but yeah. that is a Shima. That's a Shima? That's a Shima. That's a real Shima. And then you got me, Kate. Let's see. You got me on full display Ooh. right there. Oh, 
Cakes Ew. McGee. Same dimples and everything. Ooh, Ricky, what's your number one Shima in the store? Number one Shima in the store? Yeah. That Mario, uh, um, I love those Mario statues, so that's my Shima, but these vintage shirts. I know, he's insane. been smart to get those. If I had to pick one thing from the store like that I could only take home, it'd be this copy of 007, oh, Quantum of Solace. Dude, yeah. Yeah, dude. Look at Rick's selection, too. I gotta point it out. Donkey Kong, DuckTales, Lady Sia, Tech Deck, and Mega Man all freaking CIB. But check this out, too. I mean, this is a hefty, hefty selection. That's not me even just blowing bubbles up his butt, but look at this. Look at me when you said that? Look at this, Curtis. I know. Do you see these? I know this is not very common. You see in regular, and well, I wouldn't call this a regular game store by any means. This is. But look at this section. Tigers, all laid out, freaking Mighty Max, Polly Pockets, all these beautiful signs by Retrobeard. This is what I'm taking. They're beautiful, but look at this. So Rick's changed up these, these uh, areas that he had museum setups. This is the 90s right here. We've got the wizard, possibly my favorite. Love the shout out to YouTube. He definitely needs to put a Retro Liberty thing in there because I heard that channel inspired him. Uh, Space Jam, just looking so nice. And Mario in the 80s. Beautiful. Oh yeah, and there's that. The one he got, but you can't replace the one Ricky just gave him. It's a oh. wow! All right, so, and now this is where the board games used to be, but, and as, as cool as those can be for a lot of people, not my thing, but now he has a great toy selection all the way down. He's got wrestling figures. Even Ellen, his wonderful wife, set up a more, you know, cater towards the little girl section. I love it. <gasps> Beetlejuice, see I, oh, oh shoot. I actually think I need to buy this from him. He snaked this from me. I'm gonna buy this. He, he took this from me at the last expo. Um, and then we also got a bunch of Power Ranger stuff right down here. Sorry guys, I've been doing this very vloggy, so it's not the, uh, not the best camera work you've ever seen. Lunch boxes? Come on, Rick. Rick is killing it. Pee Wee's Playhouse, Hulkamania, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I used to have this Double Dare one right here. Smurfs, Silverhawks. A lot of the stuff I recognize from his episode, which is great, which is I think really fun, especially if you're a viewer of Retro Ricky Bobby, Double Dare, Turbo Man, Batman stuff. Just, oh, one of my favorites over here is all these Captain Planets on card. Look at that, dude. I actually might have to cop a couple of these as well because these are super cool. Also, I hate the fact that I just use the word cop. Um, oh, bro. Oh yeah, I'll be taking this home too. All right, what do, so I've been up here before, but why are we going up here today? So I'm gonna show you all the stuff I've been holding on to, kind of the better stuff oh. that has come into the store. The stuff I'm like, I gotta keep it. Oh, so you're, you you do not know if you're selling it? Right now I'm not. Wow, already, holy mo- so This is just a little, this dude, is a little bit. This is coming to the store? This is coming to the store, yeah. Oh, oh dude, these books, these books are expensive. Greatest Game Boy game of all time? Really? Yeah, absolutely. So we got a CIB Nomad. That's um, clean, I just this. talked about how- Last one on eBay went for 3,300. No! Right? Yeah, now when the heck are you gonna see that? You're not. That's a barn find. He found it in a barn under like soot and dirt, and it's still in that shape. Wow. Dude. CIB Jaguar. Look at all this. Oh, dude, yeah. these are so sick. Oh, gosh dang it, you have the other one too. Yeah, and the one that I know old Curtis is gonna like. Oh, Ooh. that's a yeah. shame. Thank you. This is a that's, shame. So that's the Ocarina of Time. I mean, look at hey, there is a price tag on it. <laughs> yeah, but, that's, but what? that was price low. Oh. These are all. <laughs> Wait a second. These are original Motus. Wow, original. I never yeah. see them in the box. So these are, this is super rare. These are all Brazil carts of N64 games. Oh, wow. And they're different color. So, like, Spider Man's always red. Oh, that's right. This is Brazil version, but it's still American. Oh. You never hear anybody talk about these. Never. No, and then these. Tony, Tony Hawk. Hawk. That's yellow. Ooh, that's right. Yellow. That's right. What? Green. green, green yeah. Wow. Black. 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 Blue. Yeah. Whoa. So these are all Brazil. We can say colors. Whoa. Brazil and they play on American. Oh Look at, oh dude, that's the banger to me right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm a Master really? System guy. So this is actually brand new. No. It's a brand new Sega Master System too. Wow. Look, so. yeah, we used to have one of these. So you don't, you don't usually see this. This is a comic book one, but it's like, I don't know if it's ever been thumbed through. You know, uh, NES Complex got one of these for a dollar. 
No. Yeah, on video. That's so cool. Crazy, dude. Awesome. And then what else is in here? Oh, good grief. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. What? Let's see it. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, hot balls of fire. The craziest thing about this oh. is both that and this yeah. were donated to the store to display. And now you can double your profit. And it, was his, <laughs> yeah. it was his uncle's. Like, he goes, I go, really? He goes, yeah, dude, my uncle's Frederick. <laughs> Whoa. He goes like I my my uncle worked there and he just didn't give him back when he quit. These are his. I don't think I've ever seen this. Color. Unbelievable. Ooh. No, one, I, Chris had never seen that one either. I've never seen this. Wow, kick Chris rocks, right? Kick rocks. Oh, so you have the two XL cassette tapes and that goes for oh, your two yeah. XL. This the display. Yeah, you. I edited that video as the rest of your videos. Wow, dude. So I got these. But apparently, I we you fired me though. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was so believable. <laughs> Gosh, this is all kinds of crap in here. That's great. That's not crap. That's awesome. Awesome, dude. Well, uh, Ricky and I would love to buy some stuff off of you. No. I'll tell you that much. No. That's a clean one. <laughs> yeah, we found this at the Swami once. Well, no, we got someone else found it right underneath our nose. Look at that, Ricky, the Knight Sega Saturn 3D control pad. Oh, that's a beautiful All right, don't one. Get in here. Well, let me see, let me see. Rick said he's got something else to show me. This is just like, so that's a sealed. Okay. Original oh, it's series. sealed? What's that make him an X? Yeah, this is a uh, special, like, X pamphlet. Wow, that is rad, dude. This is a Dreamcast, like, promotional for, like, if you worked at Sega. Sega of America? Wow. Retail video, looped. What? And then just, like, uh, just. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my goodness. So that's what I was just telling that's what I was just telling Rip. This is this is seven months of owning a store. And it what's crazy to me is this stuff is just in houses in Arkansas. Oh yeah. Dude. Just very But it really houses. just comes down to talking to people. The other day I was in my office at work and one of the guys at my work out of nowhere, he's like, hey, I heard you like games, so I decided to look at my attic. He's like, I think I have about two hundred NES games. Yeah. They have like their they have like their cardboard boxes with them, and I was like, "Yeah, man, I, I'm down to look." And, and but it's like you said, they're just yeah. There's just people bought this stuff as kids. You know how many people probably own this who have never cared about it, and it's just there. Look at that. I mean, in that one, you never see like with the, uh, with the foil, the, the like foil. it's a good shape. Yeah. Whoa, whoa! Look what I just spotted. Just lying on the floor. Can anybody tell me what this is besides oh, yeah. Rick? Besides Rick. Curtis got it. Bro, you're so you're have, smart despite your young age. Have, <laughs> so what's crazy about that is I have a Panasonic Q. So what's crazy is I got a Panasonic Q. This came in a box of controllers a couple days ago. Stop. That's yeah. crazy. It's just in the box. I was like, wow. Hello. Hello. What's up? You ready to hang that sign? I'm ready, but I want to show these oh. freaking watches that just came in. Oh. oh okay. Watches just came in. What? Watch this. Oh, what's happening? Where's the watch? There's like nine of them down there. Hold on. In there? Oh, jeez. Are they sick? Yeah, there's, they're like limited edition ones. That's super. That See? one's cool. Stop it. Stop. The movie, the big, the big turtles, but the movie ones. <sighs> those are the movie Star Wars. Ooh, I love the Donkey Kong Pog. Donkey Kong Pogs, dude. I love that. Episode one, uh, that came in not too long ago. Episode one. All standing. right, now I get why you have subscribers. Uh-oh, another item. Back to back to back. No oh, wow. way. Holy crap. Take it easy, easy, April. <laughs> so apparently th this is one of the, like when you hit when you deal in pinball yeah. machines, the marquee is one of the kind of the harder sought after things. That so. is a beautiful yeah, marquee. Yeah, really cool. You said that's worth how much? This is worth roughly around 400, the Kazam Tiger handheld. I I've did been not waiting know that. years and years, and I finally got one. It was in France, and I had to pay right around 400, but which is insane. Holy! But I've always wanted this. Good for you, I think. <laughs> Ricky, look at that thing. The team and T. No, I'm looking at this, bro. That's really cool. Okay, put this on. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Let, let me see. Oh, whoa! Go, go, Ricky Ranger! Whoa! It's like he's a real Power Ranger. <gasps> the Brown Ranger. Look at Curtis right now. He's he's literally shaking. Oh, oh, oh. There it goes. 
It's going up. Do you guys need an extra hand by, the t by any chance? Uh, I don't think so. If you do, please tell me and I will gladly stop recording. I just wanted to show the world your wonderful work, my friends. Look at that. All right, we'll come back to it when it's fully up and hanging. There he is, Curtis the Courteous. Wait, look over there. Right oh, there. You can find there. Yeah. boy. You should actually have customers pick them up by here, this area. <laughs> <laughs> what is this you just walked in with? Out oh, of nowhere. There's more uh, vintage Batman lava lamp. Just made a deal outside. <laughs> and Brian's the big Batman guy, so That's they're bringing it in. That's sick, dude. Just some really cool pieces. That's there. really cool. Those just walked in and what are, are they just for display? Is that what they were made yeah, for? Like they hang, look, you hang them. Oh yeah, they're wall art. That's perfect, you have plenty of space. I, I, it's funny, they laugh when we say that, but being from California, we, we utilize every ounce of space. That, that is all precious space, each little centimeter in between we could use. Look at the He-Man right there in between Toys R Us and, and the Turtles. One right there, one right there. Go hold them up there, Ricky. Let's see what that looks like, bro. Let's see if my intuitions. Do you want one on top of the other? Yeah, bro. Let's see. Look at that, Rick. See, that's how you utilize space, Rick. Right there, bro. Don't second guess it. So it's now like 10 at night and Rick has me, Ricky, Curtis, and Adam over there stocking his shelves, restocking yeah. everything for his grand opening, which will be on his channel, but uh, we're stocking him up. Some of his games, I'm doing the N64 a lot right now. So Killer Instinct, Smash, Pokemon Stadium, Donkey Kongs, Diddy Kong Racing, not Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong. Oh, there is Donkey Kong. Zelda, Gauntlet, Pokemon Snap. Just trying to make sure I don't put out too many doubles out here, but there's a lot of good stuff going out. So what we're doing is we're taking out the less valuable games and putting in the more desirable games because it's his big weekend opening. So you can see, Adam, what are some of the ones you just put out? So we've got, well, we're about to put out Complete in Box, Complete in Box, Dr. Mario, Yoshi's Cookie. Beautiful, beautiful. And Curtis and, and I, then oh, right in front. oh, they're, they're over there, over there. We there put like, you know, some Zelda, some seven, Super eight, Troll, eight, Turtles in Time, Secret of Mana, Tournament Fighters, eight, more Zelda. Eight, All the way, I thought that was a more expensive game, but I was wrong. So, yeah, we're just rotating. Like Bolo. Hello. Bolo. Yeah, who knew the NHL, your finger's covering it. Oh my gosh. NHL 98. I didn't, I didn't know. Now, working our way over to disc base stuff. Curtis is over here working on what? PlayStation 2 he's got you on? Yeah, RBG at the moment, but yeah, PlayStation 2. Okay, let's go, baby. These boys are doing the fun job of alphabetizing Genesis games. Woo! <laughs> so excited. And I was telling Rick, I want to fill up any blank space, and I saw that spot empty now that Tails is here. So I'm gonna put up a Mario World banner up there. Hello, Michelangelo. It's up. Rick, are you ready? While you flex on me, are you ready for your store opening, which will be on your channel, which I'm not gonna be filming? You're filming it? What, uh, you're, oh, well, I'm filming All for right, you. All right, I'll say this. Yes? Am I ready? When my eyes are really bloodshot, that means I'm pretty stressed out. Your eyes yeah, are definitely very really red. Really red. <laughs> well, all right, man. I'm ready for my search. <laughs> 